Reader asked me to ask this question. Your injuries. I'll blame it on the reader. <laughs> well, when you hear it, maybe you'll do it. Have you done, have you guys tried any revolutionary tactics? Like they suggested martial arts and tumbling and all kinds of stuff. You do anything off the wall? Has Jerry come up with anything that's out of the ordinary trying to prevent? Injury. An anterior cruise ship from twisting and popping? No. Um, now, do we have guys that, uh, that take um, yoga? Yeah. Uh, Pilates? Yeah. Extra stretching? Yeah. We do, we do the, you know, we do a lot of things, um, you know, in different ways um, to try and help guys and stretch them and get them. You know, the, like, for instance, DeMarco Murray was, you know, this last couple of years we really got him on Pilates and yoga and trying to, to really get him more flexible. And, and uh, anyway, so we, we do, you know, a number of things to, to try and help. To, to, to prevent a knee injury, though, short of wearing a brace, putting Ryan Broyles in two big leg braces and trying to do what he does, I don't know that you can. You know, that's just one of those things. Do you, 2000, you had a really great year in terms of people staying healthy. Mm -hmm. Has it gotten any worse over the years, or do you think it's... Well, uh, obviously, we've had, you know, the... 2009 was the yeah. operation, but this year any worse than others, or do you... Or well, this year's... High profile stuff going on? Yeah, this year's been pretty tough to manage. You know, what, what hurts you a lot of times, too, is like in 09 or even this year, it's, it's some of your best players, you know, that are most productive. And, you know, that changes the complexion of your team some. Um, you know, it's just, uh, that's just the way it is. Um, to say just another guy goes in and he becomes Ryan Broyles, that's not that easy to do. He, I mean, the guy's, you know, the all-time reception leader, you know, in NCAA football, that's, that's pretty good. Or to say, uh, you know, in 09, that a, a guy that hadn't played and he's going to come in and be the first round draft pick to Sam Bradford is. That's just not realistic. I think for several seasons, um, although the Big 12 was still very strong, the perception was there's Oklahoma, Texas, and maybe everybody else. That's certainly not the case now, but you could certainly make a case that there's Oklahoma and Oklahoma State and then everybody else. Do you lose anything when a team joins you on that top rung over time? I mean, is that. Are you, is your future threatened by this game at all? No, why would it be? I mean, we still got a chance to win the championship here. And uh, so, um, you know, I think we, we always have a, a great league. And at different times, you know, some teams are up or down. You know, it's just how it goes over 13 years. But, uh, you know, and the teams coming in are excellent teams. When you look at, you know, what with, uh, you know, TCU and West Virginia coming in and, and so, it's always going to be tough. Wouldn't you rather see it? Before the argument was everybody else was pl not playing conference championships. Now everybody is in the Big 12, is it? Would you rather be playing a Big 12 championship game this weekend? Well, not, not in the situation we're in now. Um, you know, not with, uh, not with 10 teams. Uh, you want 12 teams in the league so you can do it? I don't, I don't believe you put 12 teams in the league just so you can do that, not if they're not the right, they're the right teams and the right way to do it so um, if it gets to that great um, but you don't do it just for that uh, I, again fair to say this game's you know an important game you know this week along with those other games the way the way it's worked out anyway how much pride Bob do you take in um, the consistent goes back to Clay's question about teams come and go you really haven't gone anywhere you had two bad year, two subpar years, but every other year you've either won the league or you've been in contention for it. Same with national. How much pride do you take in that? Considering somebody was somebody was criticizing you the other day and said you were overrated, and the only thing you could say about him is he's had the best program in college football over the last ten years. I'll take so, it. So, <laughs> um, I, mean, I guess my question: Will you take that? Is that is well? That, if we've had take? the best program over the last ten years, I mean, it, it's it's. Um, you know, well, listen, I, I, I understand how difficult it is to do, and, uh, and we have done a lot 
when you look at again comparative to you know the you know before you know Joe and all of us arrived here in the 10 years prior to that there wasn't anything so to to have uh, played in eight Big 12 championship games and won seven of them is pretty darn special and uh, and let's face it, you know, to, to be in four national championships, with anyone can say what they want. You, they don't just pick your name out of a hat and you get in those. All right, they're not, they're not easy to, 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 as we're watching this year and every other year, they're not easy to get in. And uh, all right, we've won one, uh, and uh, you know the same thing. What we've been to eight BCS bowls in 11 years. So say what you want. Again, they don't put you in those bowls when it's by picking your name out of a hat and you got lucky. So. Whatever you know, people can people have their opinions and and uh, you know they're they're entitled to them and some people get to express theirs a little more than someone else and, and that's okay. So, but yeah, are we proud of what we've done? Sure, and uh, we'll continue to try and get more. Do you see any of your success in the Oklahoma State program in the sense that I mean you talked about the ten years before you got here, you get to talk about the hundred years before Mike Gundy got there. And, uh, and, you know, they have facilities coming online. You've had facilities come online over the past 10 or 15 years, 10 years. So do you see similarities and, and well, I guess that's it. I don't know. It's hard for me to have similarities when in a place I'm not at, you know. Right. So I, it's not really I, not easy for me to answer that. You know, it's just hard to, uh, you know what I mean? I'm not much on speaking on other places I'm not part of, you know. You certainly built a program that sustains success. Can you look at them and say, this doesn't look like flash in the pan. This looks like the long haul. Well, sure. I mean, uh, I, I, I would, ex you know, I, I could see where that's, you know, that, that could be, you know, but it's, you know, that's uh, something that has to be, you know. Every year. Yeah, it's, it's not easy to do. Bob, Baylor burns you deep pretty bad. OSU likes to throw it deep on occasion. Are you confident or not? Or why, if you are, why are you confident that that won't happen to you Saturday night in Stillwater? Well, it's a different, uh, you know, the, the, the skilled players are excellent. Um, I think the, the dimension of the, uh, the quarterback run game, you know, makes that, you know, our ability to change up our coverages and do what we're doing quite different. Um, so hopefully that will help us. You mentioned the weather in your opening comments. Can you just talk about how that could affect the game with the rain? And the yeah, it's uh, it's um, you know uh, it can it can change things a little bit. You know, as far as wind and, and rain and ability to throw, catch those kind of things, hold on to the ball. So it'll be a you know it'll be we'll just see how it is, but it'll be a, a factor. You know, I know for us it was this past week. Bob, what do you? What is the mood? What do you sense the mood and the confidence level is of your team? I read a story today that the majority of people are probably <laughs> pulling for OSU, or they f see momentum with OSU right now, and uh, you know maybe going two different directions is a sense I think from the public. What's the mood of your club? Well, um, it's it's very positive. We're you know uh, again understand that you know. Uh, We've played nine games really pretty well. We've played two, you know, pretty poor. And, and even in those, as poor as we played in those, we're, we're not, you know, far off from having a chance to win. But uh, in the end, we know we'll have to play well. Um, you know, uh, this, this group is a confident group in that uh, they know, you know, what we were able to do a year ago. Um, now we'll have to, to do it better here this year. But can we? They, they believe they can, and they're, they're working towards that. Are you in touch with Mike in any way that's beyond two brothers being in touch, but him perhaps even taking a look at OSU and offering anything? Uh, so with Mike. Is Mike, Mike playing any sort of advisory role with you guys uh, right now? My Thank brother you. Mike? Yes. No. Okay. He played him. What's that? He played, he played him. him. Yeah, it's been a long time ago, and we've watched the game, you know, but no, he. He's not advising us. All right.